another quick video. Let's unbox my Telfar bag. Yes, my Telfar Clemens bag that I am so in love with the brand. And you know what's in this box. You know what's in this box. Okay, so a little backstory. I was not supposed to get this bag. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, if you know anything about Telfar, they pretty much drop these bags randomly. They have a bag security program, which I have used. I just recently got the bag that I ordered in the bag security program. It took about three months, which I expected, so no complaints there. I do read the fine print, <laughs> um, but I got that bag. But they have these random drops and um, probably about three days before the drop, you get an email, say, hey, on this date at eight o'clock, nine o'clock central time, we're gonna drop this bag, be in line, I mean, be there and good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. So um, when I first tried to get a bag, um, I really didn't know what I was doing, which it, it's not rocket science. It's not hard to get a bag, but it, you, you do have to be present. You have to show up. You got to be ready. Um, so I was able to get most of what I want just by being online a few minutes before the um, bags drop and being ready to check out, have your card information, be logged in and all of that good stuff. So boom, I'm usually able to get every bag that I want. However, when the Azalea, which is the pink, like the hot pink, I knew that bag was going to be beautiful. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And I said, I got to get that bag. Um, that that would have been my second bag. The first was the red. When we got the red, no problem. It sold out in minutes, but I got it. Um, the second one, I was geared up to get the Azalea. I was in the checkout line, and you guys have seen and heard this story over and over from many other people, but it sold out. I had it, but it sold out. But your girl was quick, and guess what? <laughs> I was able to get the large. So I wanted the medium. The medium sold out. I got the large Azalea, and I love the bag, but it's huge. I don't think I'm a large, large bag girl. That bag is great for traveling, but um, I don't want to use it for traveling. So I would love to find a good home. <laughs> for the large azalea, but I can't part with it. At least not until I get my medium, a small or medium. So um, that's the backstory of how I got into and start getting my Telfar bags. Fast forward here recently, they dropped the black bags and I said, I want a black Telfar bag. I want, I want, I want. I did my normal thing. It did not work. Um, that was right when they introduced a new, um, like verification system. You know how the thing pops up and says, make sure you're not a robot. They tried something new and a lot of people missed out. I was one of them. Um, I was not happy about it, but I was like, whatever. So that was supposed to be my third bag. Or if you count the bag security that hadn't come yet, it would have been my fourth, but I missed out on that one. So, um, the next bag drop came. I think it was one before or after that, but the next one came up and it was the olive. And I said, mm, it's cute, but I don't really think I need olive. And then there was another the angel or devil sitting on my shoulder said, well, the olive, not the olive. Yeah, I think it's the dark olive, dark olive. The dark olive will be close enough to black like whatever you would wear with black you can wear the dark olive and I said okay I think I might go for the dark olive but the angel on my shoulder was like mm -mm, girl you don't need that bag you got enough um if you're gonna get something wait and get what you want so I said all right angel we gonna sit this one out I woke up that morning. I didn't have an alarm set, not for, I, not for Telfar. I had an alarm set for something else. I woke up and I looked at the time and I said, Ugh. and I was actually at the gym. That's what I was doing. I was at the gym and the time hit and I don't know what happened. Like, I guess FOMO kicked in. And before you know it, 
I was the proud owner of a medium dark olive bag, y'all. Like, I don't know, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened. I just know that in a few minutes, I'm still on the treadmill, but I got an email that said, hey, thank you for your purchase. We'll ship your bag to you soon. So I was like, ooh, okay. So let's look at this baby together and see if it's something I need to re-give to a friend or a family member or something I need to keep for myself. Um, because y'all know my daughter is about to be 18, right? And I'm like, girl, you don't want to... She, she'll ask to carry like one of my LV bags. And I'm like, girl, you don't want to carry one of these Telfar bags. And it it hadn't got to her yet. Like um, she'll carry like one of my coach bags. Cause I, I like coach Cassie, that bag, but um, she had not carried the Telfar bag. Oh, that's why, because I only have the medium and it's too big for her. But hope pretty soon, mark my words, my daughter is going to want my Telfar bags. Mark my words. But you know anything about Mr. Telfar Clemens? Guys, I love it. I, I'm gonna tell you while I'm pulling this out, I actually, the first time I like saw him, saw him was on Wendy Williams. And I was like, he seems so amazing. Like, I would love to meet him in person. He seemed like such a humble, kind person. <laughs> Y'all, wait a minute. This dark olive. I, I think I might have to keep it. Look at it. Isn't that a beautiful color? I don't think the camera is doing it justice, guys. I love this color. And, and I'm not even a fashionista that likes to wear a lot of different colors, but I'm just thinking, I'm more of a like a monotone or earth tone person. And I'm thinking of so many different things I can wear this with. And of course it's gonna be perfect for the fall. Let me know what you think guys. Is this one that I need to hold on to? What do you think about this color? What do you think about it? Because I am pleasantly surprised. I am so very pleasantly surprised. I don't think the camera is doing it justice. And again, I don't know how I got it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. But I was like, I've always got friends and family members who will take it off my hands. Should I keep it? What do I do? I love it. Should I keep it or should I hold out for the black? That's what I need to know. Drop it in the comments. Drop, drop, drop it in the comments. Tell me what to do because your girl is lost. I don't have another bag this color though, or even similar to this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. Yep, it's a done deal. I'm keeping it. And it's final, yep. Back in the dust bag she goes until we find when and where we want to introduce her to the world. But in the meantime, again, like and subscribe to my channel, please, for more unboxings of amazing brands that I'm falling in or have fallen in love with. And if you have not already, remember to check out my site too, guys. It will mean so much to me. Um, Century.com, S-C-E-N-T-R-I-E. -E. Um, we have perfume, fragrance, oils for men and for women. Guys, they smell amazing. They last all day and it's a bomb price. Like, give it a try. I promise you, I will not let you down. But in the meantime, for more unboxings and other stuff, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.